And we should be live. Let me check. It looks like we might be. But just in case, I will make sure. Uh, unfortunately, we have an ad playing on my end. There we are. Okay, we are definitely live. Awesome. All right. So, hello everyone. Ace here, and today we are going to be playing some American Conquest in recognition of the fact that it is Columbus Day. So, why are we playing this game in particular, and why are we doing it for Columbus Day? Well, I will tell you. It actually has a Christopher Columbus campaign in it. It is technically the tutorial campaign, but we will be going into it. Anyways, and it is going to be a fairly short campaign as well, but that's also convenient because it is, of course, going to be movie night again. And for those of you who don't know, the movie that... Well, I'm now I'm going to go ahead and tell you. The movie that we're going to be watching after the stream is The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, a classic horror film from way back in the day. And really, it is a good film. It's actually one that inspired none other... Ah. Well, anyways, it's a really important film, and I'll go ahead and jump into that. But uh, for now, let's actually get into the game. Brother Cackle says plop plop, and Gudden says hi. Hello, everyone. All right, so let's get into it. I'll go ahead and let the tr intro play. Their Hopefully, it is actually pretty small though. But untold treasures urge them to cross the vast Atlantic. A new paradise awaited them, as did new dangers and pitfalls. The land was occupied, and the residents were loath to give it up to the interlopers. What followed was years of bloody war as the newcomers fought to control the land. Don't worry, this game will be in proper 1080. It's just the intro and maybe the um, menu screen that's going to be a little bit like this. Let's get into it. Go ahead and jump into the campaigns. I'll see what it looks like on my end, but it's probably not going to be full screen because the menu itself is locked to 1024 by 768. So it's probably going to have some black bars there, but the actual end game itself is in 1080 though. I do need to stress that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into Columbus's voyages, which Columbus did four voyages, but uh, one of them is split up into two, which I believe is this one. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the first, and the briefing is going to be lengthy on this, just a heads up. On the 3rd of August, 1492, an expedition of three ships left the port of Palos, fully equipped to search for a seaway to India. The expedition was led by Christopher Columbus, a man destined to go down in history as the discoverer of a continent previously unknown to the Europeans. The most striking fact of his voyage, however, is that Columbus was not actually seeking to discover new lands. He was looking for a sea route to the distant country of India, a land whose fabulous riches had been the subject of many a myth, which had kindled the fire of greed in the eyes of all men regardless of whether or not they had previously been prone to avarice. It was from India that Columbus was to bring his patrons much gold, silver, spice, and slaves to repay them hundredfold for the expenses of the voyage. Much was invested into the expedition. 
Spanish Queen Isabella even had to pawn her diamond crown to cover the cost of the venture. The Spaniards had one major rival, King John II of Portugal, who was well aware of the impracticability of the plan Columbus had made. He knew the Spanish squadron would never reach India, but he was equally sure that the Genoese would discover hitherto unexplored lands in the West, and that these lands would for some time draw the court's attention away from searching for a route to India, which would buy him some time in the race for fabulous riches from overseas. Before turning to the Spanish crown, Columbus had already sought support from the Portuguese and been rejected. The fact was that the Portuguese king had already heard of America's existence, which had been testified to in numerous records of travels and explorations, and of possible new lands in the western region of the Atlantic as early as 1470. Some parts of America's Atlantic coast were marked on maps which a Portuguese navigator had compiled in 1452. After 1452, a large number of royal patents were issued to captains for some unknown islands in the Atlantic, authorizing them to seek out these lands and settle there. The Spanish crown was disturbed by the Portuguese behavior. From 1488 to 1495, Spanish spies in Lisbon were constantly sending reports to their rulers about Portuguese vessels secretly sailing off to the west. It was time to act. On the 12th of August, 1492, a fair wind carried Columbus's squadron out of the harbor, and he set a course for the American coast. On October 11th, he approached one of the isles in the Bahaman archipelago. Christopher Columbus raised the Spanish flag and declared the island to be located at the gates of India and the property of their royal majesties Isabella and Ferdinand. The details of the conquest were taken down by the expedition's notary, Rodrigo de Escobedo. In a document that declared the native islanders to be Castilian subjects, Columbus's ships then began to explore the shores of the New World, unaware of the dangers awaiting them at every turn. At Christmas, the flagship Santa Maria was wrecked on a coral reef. The explorers decided to set up a colony on the nearest island. On January the 4th, Columbus left 38 people behind with a stock of weapons and food in the new colony they had named Navidad, Christmas, and set sail for Spain. On March the 4th, the explorers stood before King John II, who welcomed Columbus with open arms and affirmed his own rights to the New World. King John later offered to discuss the rights to the newly discovered lands and a treaty was drawn up in 1494, whereby the demarcation line was to follow the meridian 370 leagues west of the Cape Verde Islands. According to the agreement, Brazil went to Portugal. Pope Alexander VI divided the whole new world and its countries, discovered or not, between two monarchs, two states actively patronized by the Roman Church, Spain and Portugal. Now it's high time other European states laid claim to the new world and stood up for their rights with the power of their guns. The division of the world continues. All right, so, a very lengthy little intro there, but we should now be in game and we can now properly zoom in. We need to create 35 more peasants. Simply enough, we'll build a fort. And, Okay, we, do, we did have some of them decide to pick a fight with us. Some of them are just standing there doing nothing, but others are picking fights, so let's fix that. There we go. Get ourselves a mill, and then we can start... Uh, how right is it? Uh, asks Hidden Boss. I'm not entirely sure, but it does seem... I know a lot of it does seem to be pretty much on, uh, accurate, but I'm not entirely sure if all of it is, but it does seem to be... A lot of it does seem to be accurate, at least, so... Alright, so yeah. First mission complete, because all we had to do was create some peasants because again this is a tutorial campaign so the so the first few missions are going to be short although the last two are probably going to be longer but uh, anyways 
Number one rival says, I'm getting Age of Empire vibes from this. Same engine. Well, this is actually uh, basically the same as Cossacks, which was an Age of Empires clone, although much larger in scale. Uh, Orso Sim says, history is good, yes, yes, but musket fire is better. <laughs> we will be getting into that, certainly. Winter's King says, yes, conquer the heathens. <laughs> the second expedition took place in 1493 and was again led by Admiral Columbus, now Viceroy of the newly discovered lands. The squadron this time consisted of 17 vessels, including 10 caravels. The flagship was the Santa Maria La Galante. Among the participants of the expedition were about 1,500 recruited sailors, soldiers, future colonists, royal officials, and missionaries. A six-month stock of provisions, plant seeds, cattle, tools and implements for the future colony were loaded onto the ships. The time of the discoveries had begun. In November 1493, Columbus discovered the islands of Dominica, Guadalupe, the Lesser Antilles, and the island of Puerto Rico. In his search for gold, Columbus conducted a military campaign to Haiti in March 1494, only to discover the southeastern and southern shores of Cuba, the Isla de la Juventud, Isle of Youth, and Jamaica. Amusingly, when Columbus discovered Cuba, he thought he reached Japan. But... Alright, so this one we have to do some exploration. And we have some guys fighting already, so... There we go. Now, this mission, we're going to supposed to do some exploration, though it is always good to set up a base of operations, so we shall. First thing we're going to do is get these guys in here. And get some more dwellings. Now you can actually fortify even the civilian buildings, which I will be doing. Should be enough to fortify that building pretty substantially. And then we can go ahead and deal with that. There we go. Uh, swordsman says, catch you later, Ace. Catch you later, Swordsman. And uh, Hidden Boss says, man, this guy was so lost in the world. Yeah, <laughs> true. So now let's actually finish the mission by doing some exploration. The ground near a settlement of Mexican natives appears to be well suited for planning. Grain. Be friendly, they seem harmful. Okay. We'll f go to this area now, do some more exploration. This must be a holy temple. It's huge and has a high unit capacity. Fortunately, it appears to be empty. This sanctuary creates shops. So, healers. Okay. And then we can find this, and that should get us to where we need this mission. Here we go. We have found the abandoned sacred site of the prince. Exploration complete. Remember, explore maps. Uh-huh. Those are ruins. Find secrets. Yep, simple enough. So now we get to go on to the third mission, a voyage home. Which is supposed to be part two, I guess, of the second voyage, but I digress. I think it's supposed to be. Within we'll find 40 out. days, Columbus explored the southern shore of Haiti and continued his conquest in 1495. But in spring 1496, he sailed back home, bringing his second voyage to an end in Castile on June 11th. Columbus brought news of a new route to Asia. The quickly prospering colonization of new lands proved very costly for the Spanish crown. 
So Columbus offered to settle islands with convicts, whose terms of punishment were to be reduced by half. Again, Columbus never reached the continent, but succeeded in discovering gold and capturing slaves for the Spanish crown. All right. You know, that is actually rather amusing. Uh, one thing, sorry, not that, but uh, what I was going to say was, if you think about it, if Columbus had reached Cuba before reaching the Bahamas and had thought he had reached Japan rather than India, that means that instead of American Indians, it would have been American Japanese, which is kind of hilarious to me. Okay, let's get most of these guys, although not all of them, to that. Get some guys working on the guns there, just in case we have to deal with intruders. And you will want to have guns up, so, because... As we've seen, we will be facing attacks, and they will be increasing in frequency. Now, let's increase the field durability, which will allow us to harvest more before having to... Alright, there we go. Now, I think we could start building our mines and getting that uh, particular bit done. The next mission is going to be harder, but it is still a tutorial campaign, so... I think we are in a good spot. Let's go ahead and build another dwelling. We'll build it over here. Far enough away that it can offer some support to us so we don't get messed up too badly if an attack should come. Uh, Rosa Sim says the cost of buildings in this game could skyrocket sometimes. So yeah, the more the buildings you build, the more expensive they become. And it really starts to spiral out of control quick. It's a mechanic that I'm pretty sure they borrowed from the Cossacks game that, again, made by the same company and using the same engine, so... Alright, we've got this mine, we can improve it. And we can build yet another mine there. And so we shall. I'm pretty sure that's a coal mine, so... Oh yeah, it's possible to... Oh, that's a problem. We're gonna have to replace that. Yeah, if your buildings catch fire, uh, good luck trying to repair them fast enough. You're basically going to require dozens of... Someone captured the... That there, so let's fix that. Get the officer to do it. Don't know what that was about, but we'll build another. Oh, there we go. Mission complete. Okay. Hantoshi says, Yo, hello, Hantoshi. Uh, McGuddon says, did YouTube ask you if you like Dave's last stand-up? I don't think... I don't think YouTube, uh... uh asked me, or what... May, I, but I haven't really been paying attention to YouTube surveys and all that, so... Alright, so now we get turmoil. Enraged with your actions, a neighboring native tribe has decided to burn down your colony. Your task is to survive for 15 minutes. It will not last 15 minutes, mainly because I'm playing this on fast mode, so... By 1496, Ferdinand and Isabella had abandoned all hope of earning a fast profit through Columbus's ventures. Nevertheless, the explorer was able to convince the monarchs to agree to a third voyage. Five ships were provided, 
carrying 300 men and 30 women who would settle in the colonies, as well as provisions to be delivered to Hispaniola. On the 31st of July, 1498, Columbus discovered the island of Trinidad, entered the Gulf of Paria, and discovered the mouth of the western branch of the Orinoco Delta and the Paria Peninsula. This event marked the beginning of the discovery of South America. Entering the Caribbean, he approached the Araya Peninsula, discovered the island of Margarita on August the 15th, and reached Haiti on August 31st. But a heavy blow was awaiting Columbus at Hispaniola. Due to denunciations and their fear that Columbus might strive to become supreme ruler of the newly discovered lands, the treacherous Spanish rulers sent a ship whose crew was ordered to apprehend Columbus. In 1500, the explorer was sent to Castile in shackles. It took Columbus nearly two years to prove his innocence, and eventually his rights were returned. But despite that, another man was sent to head the next expedition. Nicolas de Ovando was declared governor of Hispaniola and set sail for the Caribbean in February 1502, commanding 30 ships with a large group of settlers. Despite all this, in March 1502, Ferdinand and Isabella let Columbus head a new transatlantic expedition. Okay. So, let's do this mission and try to do it right, but this is going to be a tougher one. Okay, so we need to get these guys into the fort ASAP, or else they will die. And while we're at it, we might also want to get some additional stuff here. So what we're going to try to do is get a storehouse dwelling and storehouse built as quickly as possible over here with the objective in mind being to try to get alright I want interlocking fields of fire so we'll build a storehouse here and we'll build another one here Increase field durability right off the bat, which is good. I'm gonna be needing that. Oh dear, they've already got the fort just damaged. Evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. This could actually be a problem. Let's build another fort. I need a good spot for it though, that's... Okay. Like I said, this mission can be a little bit trickier. Our strategy seems to be working so far. Now let's go ahead and get more of these guys in. The AI, the natives get arrows that can cause fires, and the fires are what really messes you up. Even then, they have to use human wave tactics to actually be effective, so you have to prepare for that.
And we did it. Like I said, we were playing it on fast mode, so there we go. And that leaves us with one more mission, the Destroyer. And after that, we'll actually get on to the movie event. And I do hope to see you all there. I did, of course, put a pinned uh, comment in the chat linking the Discord. And like I said, the movie is going to be the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Now, let's go ahead and get into the final mission. Despite arrest and disgrace, Columbus obtained permission to continue his search for a western way to India. Columbus's flotilla consisted of four small caravels. Together with his son, Hernando, Columbus left Cadiz on 11th of May, 1502. It took just over a month to reach the island of Martinique, and the Gulf of Honduras came into sight on July 30th. Here, for the first time, they encountered representatives of the ancient Mayan civilization, though without paying them much attention. Between the 1st of August, 1502, and the 1st of May, 1503, Columbus discovered 2,000 kilometers of the shores of the Central Americas up to the Gulf of Uraba. Having found no passageway to the west, he turned north and on the 25th of June, 1503, became shipwrecked on the Jamaican coast. It was a year later that aid arrived from Santo Domingo. Seriously ill, Columbus returned to Castile on the 7th of November, 1504. In 1506, he died in a small monastery. All right, so the final mission. We got ourselves the option of building a fort, which we shall. We'll put it right here. We do have block houses, which are convenient. They're basically miniature forts. Okay, time to get into the fort, guys. Well, there goes the fort. Time to evacuate. Alright, we'll try building the fort here instead. We want it far enough away that they just aren't going to completely delete it. But we also want it far enough away that they can that we can also start building stuff with it because we're going to need units. What? Where is that coming from? Okay, we'll need a new blockhouse, presumably. build a storehouse and then we'll start building some blockhouses as soon as we can properly deal with the attacks. We will then make a push for the south. What I'm going to do is try getting a couple blockhouses here and here and those will be my defensive structures for the time being. Okay, so I need a mine or else I can't build blockhouses for some reason. Oh wait, I need an upgrade. There we go. These two block houses here should be plenty of defense for us, and we should be able to do this. I'm, I think I'm running on slow mode for some reason. Let me check. I don't know why, but apparently we were. 
There, problem solved. What? Oh, a famine. That's not good. Come on, we need that food. We need it right now. There we go. There we are. It is possible for your guys to die while in the buildings as well, so... There we go. We now got food for everyone. Hooray. We'll increase that, and we can start increasing our efficiency there. Now we can start building wood gathered, and that should fix our problems. I don't know why they're not attacking us, but okay. I think the AI has had a brain fart. Oh, well, I will start using this free time that the game has just given me to start producing all kinds of goodies here. Get our pikemen up to max, and then that will allow us to create a massive force to deal with these guys. Now we got ourselves all the halberdiers that we need, or we will have soon. We'll just get five there, and five there. And yes, this is perfectly normal in this game. Okay, I think we got the numbers necessary to go and start uh, taking over some of the defenses. We'll do this by just storming straight in, taking some of these... Okay, that's gonna be a problem, but I think I can charge in and take that. That's another building down. And the AI is being really, really passive, because no last time I played this, they were just constantly attacking me until I took out one building in particular, and I know that something happened to the building. There used to be a building right here. ourselves some free citizens out of that, or scouts that we really used to conquer that. Now the mission can continue. I don't know why they actually just lost their building, but apparently they did, so... Okay, I don't know what is where the entrance is to this one. We'll just order them to attack it like that. There. Problem solved. Mission complete. That was not supposed to go like that. It was supposed to be a big uh, building there, so... The discovery of America and the exploration of its coast played a considerable role in the history of the development of civilization. It opened up unlimited possibilities for the economic growth of the European countries. The new colonies provided large quantities of raw materials and goods. The main trade routes shifted from the Mediterranean and the North Sea to the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. These explorations became the first steps on the way to forming new states in the New World. Alright, so the campaign is over. Or so it seems as also Ace, maybe a stray cannon shot lit the thing. <laughs> oh my god, that I can act, that might actually be what happened. A stray cannonball hit the temple, or the barracks or whatever, set it on fire, 
and they couldn't repair it fast enough. Okay. All right, so yeah, so that is the Christopher Columbus campaign. And that means that is the end of the stream, which I knew was going to be a short stream, and it is about right where I was expecting it to be. But that just means we can then get on to the movie. So, yeah, I hope to see you all there soon. And let me go ahead and exit out of here. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you all there soon. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.